Just, I guess, she's looking for a makeout set right now. It's not my favorite part of being a dog owner. I know it's how they bond, but it's really gross. <laughs> I'm Carly, that's Michelle, this is Lexi, and we're best friends. Welcome back to our channel. Carly got a puppy! Yay! Carly got a puppy! She is such a little precious sweet thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the lovings. Thank you. This is Lexi. She is an eight-week-old Beagle Treen Walker Coon Hound mix. Say that five times fast. <laughs> it's a mouthful. She is very sweet and precious. She loves people. She is very energetic, but also falls asleep very fast. She's doing really well, sleeping through the night last night on her third night home. She's had a couple of accidents inside, but nothing major yet. And she's starting to go to the bathroom outside. They say that getting a puppy is exhausting and they are right. <laughs> we found Lexi on Kijiji. We were originally looking for a rescue dog, um, but because we already have Pippa, our cat who is also a rescue, um, there were some concerns about getting a dog that was older and that also had- Emotional baggage. Yeah, that would come with emotional baggage. James and I are big fans of rescues oh. and oh I know you're so sleepy big fans of rescues and what that can do for a dog and we love the idea of giving a dog a second chance at a at a loving home mm -hmm. we just unfortunately knew that our home couldn't be that one because of Pippa yeah and like you have to weigh the options right like yes adopting is a really good option for a lot of people mm -hmm. sometimes it doesn't work out you have to do your research. Mm -hmm. So for the last year and a half, James and I have been doing our research about what types of dogs. James is a big dog guy. I'm a small dog gal. We had to find something that was in the middle. Mm -hmm. I've always liked the way beagles looked and their personalities being so friendly and, you know, good with people and other dogs and that sort of stuff. I really liked that. Mm -hmm. Beagles are a little bit on the small side for James. So when we found this one, I only actually discovered coon hounds like in the fall when we were looking at dogs. So when I saw this little gal and her brothers and sisters on Kijiji. Did she asleep? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. When I found her on Kijiji, I was just like, oh my gosh, it's the mixture of two of our favorite dogs. Mm -hmm. And when we did some more reading about what this mix of breeds is like, mm -hmm. they're actually quite healthy because mixing the coon hound with the beagle helps to alleviate some of the purebred issues that each have. And apparently it just makes them that much more friendly and happy and excited to be with their humans and other humans even. We've taken her to the vet already. She's got her first shots, got her deworming and her ticks and fleas and all that sort of stuff. And mm -hmm. the vet says that she's looking pretty good and that we seem to have gotten a pretty good, healthy puppy We've introduced her to a lot of people, my parents and obviously Michelle. She's met my brother and sister-in-law already. And then she's been to PetSmart and she handled that pretty well. Most importantly, she has met Pippa. We didn't introduce them. They introduced themselves mm -hmm. to each other um, by accident. Uh, it wasn't a horrible first meeting. They sat and they stared at each other. Lexi tried to get her to play. Pippa was like, I'm eight, go away. I don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, Pippa was protective of her bedroom. So like the spare room at our house and our bedroom are spaces that Pippa would see as hers. And so when Lexi has tried to enter those spaces, Pippa will hiss at her. She did get a little smack on the nose from Pippa earlier today <laughs> when she tried to get too close and it makes my heart sad. But James being the practical one is like, no, they, they have to go through this. They have to learn yeah. and that's how they're going to learn. Just like all siblings, fights happen. Yeah. I was so worried about Pippa before we got the dog yeah. and how Pippa would react because Pippa's my baby. 
you guys know I have a tattoo. <laughs> exactly. And so, you know, it's just getting used to the idea that Pippa's not the only one in the house anymore. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be some things that change and I feel bad for her for it. Mm -hmm. But that's life. She can't have everything exactly how she wants. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching and for meeting my little Lexi. You're going to see lots more of her, I'm sure, on our channel in videos to come. And you might even hear her in the background of some videos as well. <laughs> she is a hound, so she's a howler. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. If you want to see even more of what's going on in our lives, you can always check us out on Instagram as well. We would love to have you part of our communities over there. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!